crime rates in the U.S. have dropped, scientists have had their complex problems solved, and children have improved their understanding of what to do and not to do in society. What do we have to thank these positive changes in our world? Violent video games. Violent video games are good for children in many reasons. By allowing kids to play these games, improvement in their own mental and emotional being will rise, and that of the rest of the world will change as well for the better. Violent video games are good for kids because they allow children to experiment aggression in a safe setting without real-world consequences. Revealed by the Entertainment Software Association, an association serving the business needs of video-making companies, electronic games have potential benefits for young people. One of these potential benefits is the fact that children get the freedom to be wilder without drawbacks. If children get the chance to be aggressive while playing video games, they won't feel the need to be aggressive in real life situations. This will help children stay out of trouble and be socially better people. Violent video games are good for kids because they allow kids to understand what is right and what is wrong to do in real life. Made clear by the Entertainment Software Association, electronic games have potential benefits that include providing children with the opportunity to negotiate society's rules and roles. This means that children will learn from their video games how to behave correctly in society. These violent video games would become a teacher of etiquette in a sense. Violent video games are good for kids because they allow children from committing crimes and trouble in the streets and in society in general. Saved by the Game Room article, a retail store company that sells popular video games, the steady parade of console fitted Gortainment may directly contribute to making society less violent. Also from the Game Room article it says, the crime rate in the U.S. has sharply decreased as video games have continually upped the, versa, the vice versa factor. What the evidence explains is that by keeping these children occupied with the digital violence, crime rates in the real world will drop. This makes giving children violent video games a good thing for society and the rest of the world. Violent video games are good for kids because they provide escapism for children in their lives. Portrayed by the Forbes Grand Theft Auto Corp. Five article, a leading source for reliable business and news information, we are given a vast canvas of possibilities. The freedom to pretend to break bad in a cartoonish, outlandish, alternative reality. Most people can see for this for what it is, escapism. Some children may have hard and difficult times in their lives, but with this very entertaining game, these particular children will have a chance to forget about their harsh lives for a second and provide an outlet where kids can be relaxed. Violent video games are good for kids because they let players work through scientific problems in their games. Revealed by TheGuardian.com, a source that provides the latest news and is the world's leading liberal voice, in 2011, people playing Folded resolved the structure of an enzyme that causes an AIDS-like disease in monkeys. Researchers had been working on that problem for 13 years. The game resolved it in three weeks. From the text, we can see that letting children play these games can help with major advances in science. Not only is the kid working, he is benefiting all life around him. This makes violent video games an extremely productive thing, and everyone will gain from playing them or working on these games. Some researchers say, and people say, that allowing children to play violent video games is a bad thing. They claim that violent video games will cause children to be more aggressive in the real world. According to the New York Times, a source that provides news, playing the games can and does stir hostile urges and mildly aggressive behavior in the short term. However, these sources do not mention any permanent aggression or the fact that they let out their aggression safely while playing these games. Also, stronger research has said that the opposite, that violent video games have not really proven that playing these games will cause any mental and emotional change at all. From the Essential Facts Association article, it says, the U.S. Supreme Court, U.S. Surgeon General, Federal Trade Commission, and Federal Communications Commission have examined the scientific record and found that it does not establish any casual link between violent programming and violent crime. From the evidence here, we said that there is no real backup to say that violent video games are bad for children. But there are several valid textual evidence pieces that clearly state violent video games are good and can benefit children and society. Crime, sickness, and unsafe aggression have all been shown as things that can be solved while people are playing violent video games. Critics say that the games will cause aggression in the real world when the better proven fact is that the only manner of aggression that will happen is when kids are safely exerting and playing violent video games. Violent video games have significance in the fact that they only create positive outcomes for children. 
Even I also once believed that these games were not the healthiest game that children could be playing. But after understanding reliable sources claims, I realized all of the benefits of having children play violent video games. Violent video games benefit children, and with all the positive reasons, there's no question that children should be allowed to play. Thank you.